Kaner Universe, it's Kaner Tip Tuesday. We're on the series with Soviet events. As a matter of fact, it's SB Accelerator uh, Week. And those of you that are enrolled, I hope that you are truly enjoying it. We're getting f great feedback uh, thus far. We appreciate this. And this is part two of creating a safe space. And if you look at yesterday's uh, segment, where we're talking about just to recap how we're walking here we're taking uh, this method of, of walking with the cane that's a very natural way your cross crawl and using it we looked at it in particular the concept of creating that safe space by doing here and this the attack itself is something that's coming in and we're stepping in coming higher uh, bam to stop that and then possibly going here. Today we're gonna to go to the same. This is doing the earth element, which is very grounding. So if you look at it here, tilt the, a little bit so that we can see the feed. For those of you, all I'm doing is coming from here to here. Notice that if you're at 12 o'clock, I'm not moving at 12, I move towards one and there's a rotation there. The position of the cane is showing you how you're gonna do this with the empty hand, that's how it works. But today I'm gonna to show you a variation to that. Today we're not even gonna make contact with the tool itself. Today it's gonna to be a little bit different. So today when she moves in, I'm gonna move in all the way and I'm not even here for that. So now, rather than coming in here and knocking that down, I'm gonna to move to that hot side, right? The side that doesn't, that, that is wide open. And so when you look at the footwork, it's not about now me being here. Uh, now it's about going to this side in here and getting out. Remember, what's the goal? To escape, to get out of here. Um, ideally without even having to make contact. That is the study of the angle with the footwork. This natural movement that's putting you in position. So a little bit different. This is one where I stop it here and go. Why might you just stop here and move? Right, and possibly then she comes back up and move around. Well, if I have another individual here, that may apply. I may not want to go in here, and now I have another individual here. Remember, the art originally designed to deal with multiple assailants armed with an impact tool. And so you have this concept of being able to move around here short, protecting your body. If we look at it with the empty hand, it's going to be the same concept. It's still that earthy feeling. I'm not fluttery. I'm not uh, throw the strike how I might like to move in here. Uh, not even out here. Uh, but now it's something where I'm moving in. And I see how the head goes back. There is a tendency, whether you have the cane or the empty hand, that when you move in for your head to be here and your backside uh, to be out, you want to be mindful of, of that. It's a very common corrective. It's here. Um, I'm not arched, I'm not doing anything else. I come in, I'm also not looking to do anything, listen carefully, to jam this or to do, I'm naturally just going there. This is not, I'm, I'm already jamming here, and now I can come up, rake or do whatever it is that I am and get to that spot, right? So we're feeling pretty good about not being paralyzed and doing this reflexive action or doing, it's almost like I'm gonna ask you just to come in a little more engaged and I'm gonna hold you, right? So, so uh, yeah, and a, a, even a little bit more than that. And, oh, 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 right? Where I'm not there anymore. And you see how that momentum goes, but yet I'm holding my ground here so that I can continue, right? So any one of these, bring it back, bring it back. You see how simple that is, right, to this concept. The angle shows you how you would position your hands. Very simple, but powerful. This is something that you can practice when the, when the founder advises, encourages, and says, practice your SV walk. Practice this, as he says in Spanish, it translates over, practice this nonsense. This is the reason why, because from there, those simple natural movements that are gentle, that people look at, Right? I can do this all day, and they're just saying he's just exercising with the tool. They should never be looking at you when you're practicing SV or cane flow, and they're looking at you and they're going, wow, he's really dangerous with that tool. That's not what you should be portraying. If you love it, listen, there's that 
a free um, Sobrevivencia newsletter that we sent out almost on a on a daily, uh, every, every week certainly. Uh, go ahead and text the letters SVNL to the number on the screen. You'll start receiving it and um, let us know. Comment below. If you're liking this comment, that's how we know to keep doing it. Thanks for watching. Keep caning. Stay safe.